teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a different sort of video for you guys. We have a WWE action figure bath. And what do I mean by that? Um, the reason I'm making this video is I don't think I've ever addressed this here on the channel, but you guys know how many packages we get. We get all kinds of stuff on My Damn Hauls. We get uh, eBay figures. We get all kinds of stuff coming in from the mail at all times. Well, what does that mean when you buy off eBay? You buy figures off eBay, and you don't know where these figures have been, guys. They could have pooped on these figures. They could have slobbered on these figures. They could have been rolling in the dirt with these figures. You never know. You know, sometimes you get figures and they smell like a freaking cigarette. They smell like an ashtray, and it's just absolutely awful. I can't say I can't stand smoking and cigarettes and stuff. So if I ever get a figure from eBay, this is what I do. I take them through the my damn bath right here in the in my damn kitchen. That's that's what goes what goes down. When I get a new figure on my damn halls, I don't know how I've never addressed this. I take them. And I'm going to show you guys the process here today of how I wash my figures um, because it's very important. I think that it's very important. You don't want to, you know, there's germs and all kinds of crazy bacteria that gets on your figures when you order off eBay. Because, you, again, you don't know where those figures have been and it can be pretty ugly. So uh, we got the bathtub right here. I doubt we'll use this. I usually don't do that, but I thought it was cool to set the figures down in there. Um, you know, it's a pretty cool image. But what you need, I'm going to go through the things you need. And we're also going to be taking these superstars through my damn bath. So what we got right here, we have the Elite 38 Macho Man. He'll be going through there. I did pick him up randomly. I don't even remember where I got it, but I know that he stinks. So he definitely needs a bath here. We have this John Cena fix-up that needs a bath. Um, I did pick up these Usos from eBay that also need to go through my damn bath. So uh, both of these Uso figures, the first Elite Usos, will be going through there. And then I got this Kofi Kingston a while back, and I don't know why he never went through the my damn bath. But uh, he's going through the bath as well. So all five of these guys... Um, it looks like they're color-coded. You got Kofi, the Usos, and John Cena all in the lime green, so I thought that was kind of funny there. But uh, all these guys are going through the bath. I'm going to take you guys through the things you will need, and then we'll get started. All right, guys, so item number one that you will need during the My Damn Bath, or any bath, whatever you, your guys' bath is called, uh, you're going to need a sink, obviously, because you know sinks have water. You turn on the water, the water comes out of the faucet, and that's where you're going to get your source of water. Um, I doubt you'd want to use the water hose or bottles of water. That just gets real messy and everywhere, so you definitely need a sink. That is definitely number one. You can even use a little ray gun right here. So now that you've got your sink covered, you're going to need something to dry the figures off with. So obviously a dish towel or a hand towel. There's Squirt. Say what's up to Squirt over there in the turtle tank. He's, he's asleep right now because it's late. But the third thing you're going to need, guys, is obviously your tools. Um, what kind of doctor doesn't have his tools over here? So uh, we have a sponge, just your regular sponge. It's pretty awful. I may use a new one because that, that, that looks trash. So we'll, we'll get that out of there. So you need that. And then we also have a scrubber that you can use if they have marks on them. I think uh, the front, no, the back Uso. The back Uso right here has some stuff on his stomach right there you guys can see. Uh, so we'll see if we can scrub that off. Say what's up to Alley Cat. But um, so we'll, we'll see what's up with that. But you do need some scrub material. So we have the sponge and then we have a little scrub tool. And then probably the most important part is how can you get clean? You can't just use regular uh, sink water. You need Gain. So we have Gain Ultra right here. Beautiful smelling stuff. You know, it gets it gets all the good or the bad stuff, all the bad germs off of there. So now that we've gotten everything that you will need for the figure bath, guys, let's go ahead and take you through the process. So to get started on your figure bath, guys, you just want to take their head and dunk it in there and drown them to death. I'm just kidding, but seriously, let's get let's get into these steps. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, the sink is running right now. Hopefully, the audio is not too bad there. But you do want to make sure that you get some hot water going. Now, obviously, you don't want to burn your freaking skin off, but you do want to get it hot enough to you know where it feels comfortable. God dang! So you wanted to get you know pretty good. To, Jesus Christ! So we got the water at the right temperature. So now what we're gonna do is take uh, we're gonna take the I think this is Jimmy. I can't remember. We're gonna take him and we're going to run him through the water here and just sort of give him like a, a rinse here. So you're gonna take your thumbs and just sort of mash all over good that okay that what that water is freaking insane so like I was saying guys you just want to like I do this it's just like a thumb sort of technique where you just sort of rub on it there like you're trying to rub something off obviously the paint and stuff's not gonna come off the decals none of that will come off because uh, it's it's applied well it's sealed and everything so you just want to rub through the whole figure there and sort of just give them a good rinse and pretty much uh, after you've done that the second thing you're going to do is take your Gain Ultra or whatever soap you're using, go ahead and pop the top off, and just sort of sprinkle over the figure like so. Put your Gain Ultra back and then just do the same thing. Uh, not under the water yet. You want to keep him out of the water. That way you get the soap on there. And, you know, you just sort of lather him there. He's all lathered, lathered up and soapy and stuff like that. Uh, get all the crevices and stuff like that. 
Um, I would wait maybe 10 seconds or so, make sure that soap's set in there. That way, uh, you know, the, it gets all those nasty smells out. And then you're going to go back to step one and do the same thing you just did. So you're going to put your hands under there and do the thumb technique again, where you're just rubbing it. You should hear that squeaky noise. And you're going to do that until all the soap is pretty much gone. I'm going to bring my tool in here to see if I can get those spots off. I doubt they'll come out, but... You know, we may have to use acetone, but actually they did come off. If you guys can see that, they actually completely came off the stomach. So the little scrub bright or whatever it's called, the, the scotch bright, actually worked right there. So you guys can see that uh, did rub off, and then you just continue the rinse cycle. So once your figure is completely rinsed, guys, you want to cut the water off. You know, save some water. Freaking resourceful, guys. Be resourceful. You don't want to freaking run up the water bill and ish. So obviously, once you're done rinsing, guys, you're going to do like you do when you get out of the shower or whatever, and you're just going to take your towel and do the same thumb method and just sort of wipe them off here. I actually use this for paint and stuff. You guys can see, like, it has stains and stuff. So uh, this is just my damn towel. I just use it for all my damn hobbies and ish, painting, customizing, whatever. Use the same towel. Um, I do wash it though, it just has a lot of stains on it, but there you go, and now Jimmy is completely clean, and I don't think I have to go through everybody, right? I don't think I have to go through everybody, you guys get the point there, but Jimmy is completely clean, like holy crap, it actually got all of those stains off his stomach. You guys remember what he looked like before? The stains are gone, he smells way better than he did, I think the person I bought this from actually smoked or something, but now he is all fresh and he's ready to go up on the Uso shelf, so he is looking great. But that pretty much does it for My Damn Bath or WWE Action Figure Bath, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy that and learn something because as you can see, you saw in the before, there were clearly marks on his stomach, they are no longer there. And you also, that, that didn't require acetone, you don't have to require all those chemicals, you don't breathe in all those chemicals. You also don't have to piss your mom off using her acetone or you know having to buy acetone. It's literally soap and water got those marks off. So I think it's a pretty good fig hag right there to give your WWE figures that you get from eBay. You know, if they're coming right out of the packaging from Mattel, obviously, you don't have to give them a bath because Mattel uh, prints them straight off the line. You know, they're really good. I like the new figure smell. I don't think that... It's like a new car. You, you like the new smell. You don't want to, you know, take it away with dish soap, but uh, you definitely want to get all those germs and the smoke smell and the terrible smells out of those figure collectors that are just rubbing figures up their their dirty bunghole there. So, But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy and learn something from this video. If you did, comment down below. If you guys already give your figures bath uh am i stupid for n just now mentioning this but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you